Now, police investigations into the murder of Orlando Pirates goalkeeper Senzo Meiwa and the killing of Lebanese drug dealer Sam Issa will come under scrutiny today. Lawyers working on these two cases are set to brief the media on what they say is the failure of the justice system. My colleague Malungelo Boy joins us now ahead of that briefing. Malu, I mean, the issue of Senzo Meiwa's death and how he died still remains in the, ba in, in the hanging. We just still need to find out what exactly has taken place there. And this just goes to show the slowness of the justice system. Well, perhaps let's go back really to 2014 in October when Senzo Meiwa was gunned down in Fosloras. He had been visiting his girlfriend's mother's home, uh, Kelly Kumalo, at the time. And we know Tejo, that there were at least um, seven people apparently that were inside that house. And we know also that there were about, what, six, five or six suspects that have since been arrested. But those suspects, interestingly, are not not the people that were inside uh, that house on that day when the killing um, took place. And the lawyers really representing the suspects that are currently, that will in fact go on trial in April of this year, will actually be briefing us because they're of the view that the people that have been arrested, uh, that have been arrested, pardon me, have actually been framed um, into this, were framed in fact, uh, into this matter, that the real killers, in fact, are still out there. So they'll provide us with those um, details. And we also know that, you know, Senzo Meiwa's family has previously spoken out, really, saying that they would want all the people that were involved in the killing of their son to be brought to book and they are longing for justice so we'll sort of like then get those details from the lawyers of these lawyers because if they're saying uh, that you know the six people or the five people that are that will go on, on trial in april are people that have been framed into uh, this case clearly it shows that they know more and uh, it's going to be interesting then to hear what details will they share with us but also i'm curious though Tseho, also to hear from them if if there's or if this matter actually is already on trial or goes is set to go on trial in april have they then raised the issues that they have um with the court because the matter is already before the court so that's the first part uh, of this briefing Tseho, that will take place at around 11 o'clock but also there's the issue of of the Lebanese drug lord mm. Sam Issa, who was killed um, in 2013 in Bedford View. Um, Deho, I remember going to the scene at the time, the Audi that he was driving, the black Audi that he was driving, it was wriggled with bullet holes. And there were reports really at the time that, you know, he was, he, he owed uh, a lot of drug suppliers lots of money, and perhaps mm. that was the reason why he was killed. But we also know also Tejo, that in particular to this Sam Issa case that there are about what four people that are currently um, in court over that matter so it's also going to be interesting to hear what the lawyers are saying about it because they're saying um, you know uh, these cases that something is just not right justice is not um, being served um, so they'll also be providing us um, with all of those details. But I'm really curious, why would they call a press briefing and not raise these issues um, with the courts? Mm, very interesting one there, Malu, and I'm sure we'll get those answers from you as you follow that press briefing around the, the investigations of Sam Issa, that Lebanese drug lord, and also Senzo Meiwa. Thank you so much for your time, Malungelo Boy, out in Randburg this morning.